protect Monkey River. It's where the island, the um, birds here come nest. So we have like a uh, hundred and fifty bird in the night. Barracuda. Oh, said so someone's trying to get dinner. That's barracuda right there. <laughs> See that guy out there? He's trawling. Uh -huh. So that's the coral right out there. So you can't go no further than that until you go around that coral. Gotcha. Yeah. That's so we right here at the grass bottom. Where's the coral start? Started right, right where that guy right, is. Right where he is. Yeah. He's on the other side of it. Correct. Gotcha. Correct. So that comes a little ways down, but not too far down. And that's it. Because down there now, that's my village. So is this a good place to snorkel? Right here when the water is clear. Gotcha. Or land key, big monkey key. Uh -huh. That's a nice place to snorkel too. Okay. Because I have some habitat around there. Gotcha. Then we have some more areas we go like six seven miles outside oh, wow. and then you dive and snorkel around those corals too yeah ah, okay. yeah so everybody here is fishermen now so everything here you'll see a boat we have 180 people we have two foreigners americans they have a little lodge right over there and then we pass one have a lodge right there and that's it. That's it. Everything else is all local. Yeah. So we never know if some more people will come in. So. That was a beautiful island, that little island, right? I like that island. Little Monkey Key is amazing. Little Monkey Key, I go there in the night to get you lucky. Because over there, 150 birds will fly. I take the top off, and one or two out of the three birds will shit. And if you get shit on, it's good luck. <laughs> That's from my grandma. So I have fun with that. I have several people, boom, boom, boom. I'm right here, and I don't get shit on. And the people in the boat in the front get shit on, man. We have a hurry about that. Pretty cool, yeah. So that's my island. When you stay with me here, I do a little adventure there. Yeah. That's shallow bottom. That's how the water here is like two feet of water. Okay, two feet of water. Right here is the mouth of the river, guys. Right here, the water is rockish. Over here is where the dirt road come. And over here is where you gotta get a boat to get you over here where we all live. So not much people live over this side. And over here we call catfish nose, catfish nose. And over here it's called Monkey River. So we know we separated with two little different names, but it's the same, you know, one village. A egret on the beach. <coughs> Those are sandbags that we fill with sand for erosion. They're not garbage. They're just sandbags that full for erosion for the front that we get in our wild erosion. And we have a little project going on and that's what those sandbags are there for. And this is my village here, Monkey River. And um, everybody here is cousin, nieces, nephews, brothers, and so on, and fishermen here. If anybody wanna use the restroom break, we have a couple of minutes and then we're gonna head up into my jungle. But I live right here. My niece, they're going to fish us lunch right over there. Birds and iguanas and turtles and smoke some weed and see some Jesus Christ lizard. What's Jesus Christ lizard? That's a lizard that walks on water in, 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 in the <laughs> river. I love it. But run on the top of the water. Run on top. Know. You don't really walk. You run. Because he's fast and he have a long leg like a frog leg, but his leg have a web foot on it. Uh -huh. And that's how he goes on his web foot on the tail and he's run across the water. Yeah. And that's the, they call him the Jesus Christ lizard because of going on top of the water. But the real name is called a basilisk lizard. Yellow striped basilisk lizard. They have a dinosaur head. I'll show you when we go in. I'll show you when we go in. They have the male and the female. But it blends in and they're, they're food chains for snakes. Snakes love them. The green head snakes, the boys, love those little lizards. You guys scared of snakes? Well, I'm not a particular fan of them. 
The snakes? No, no, no. Well, snakes are not too common. Raymond is my brother, and we go into the jungle quite a bit. And for a, quite a while now, no one sees a snake. Right, Raymond? No one sees a snake. So snakes are not common. But we do have snakes. 59 different snakes in the jungle. And you have nine poison snakes. Bummer. Yeah, it's in Belize. Yeah. Right? But they're, they're not like common snakes. But we do have snakes that live underneath of the ground, like the coral snakes. You know, we do have snakes that live in the water, water snakes. And we do have some tree snakes. To me, most of the snakes, they come up more in the night. In the daytime, they chill. Yeah, in the night, they more come out and look for frogs. So if you're someone have a grassy yard, careful. <laughs> <laughs> the greenhead snake will go there and look for the frogs and the mice. Because the grassy spot there where the mice, they go and build a little nest, you know, and then that's where the snakes will more hang out. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But otherwise, I'm not, nobody have a problem with snakes in, 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 in my village. No one like get bit for a long, long, long time. A few guys get bit in the village, but long, long, long time. So far, no one get bit from since those guys get bit. Yeah, so. Well, good. I am. So we're good. Really? Yeah. Well, so good, so. So good. Don't be trying to like sneak up on me and scare me with one or anything because I will hurt myself and others. <laughs> I'm not going to do you that, young okay, lady. Good. I'm going to warn you first. If I saw one, I'm going to warn you first, but I'm not going to do you that. Yeah. But sometimes I do pick up the big triantulism and I come up to people and people like. So, you know. I'm less afraid of that. All right. Gonna spend the night in the jungle <laughs> and this is my tools. It's all we need to spend a couple of nights in the jungle. We don't need nothing more than a knife. It's going to make I find all my food. And we could eat termites. No. We could eat uh, no. uh, a palm that we call a cahoon cabbage no, palm. I'll intermittent fast before I eat, eat termites. Canes. We could eat a lot of different yeah. plants. We could eat a crook on a white plant. See this plant right here, lady? Don't touch. Ooh, ouch. <laughs> yep. The plant right here is called Prokonoboy. That's the plant uh, I make a weapon from. I make you a tongues from. That's the plant that could make me survive with you people in the jungle for days. Just with this machete. No, that palm could use as weapons, spears. Here. So you don't hurt your, so you don't damage your hand. Yeah. So your, your hand piece. So if you need to fight an animal you want? No. Okay. Well, let's go this way. You want one? Okonoboy means? Thorny branch. Okonoboy means juke them and kill them and strike them. Mm. That's the meaning of Okonoboy. Huh. That's my history tree. Because mm. that's my weapons. Because my ancestors, they never give them gun to fight against the Spaniards. Mm. So this is their gun tree. So that strike you and go through you, that's why it's called the Pro Corno Y tree. Juke them and strike them and kill them, people. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm here speaking English, otherwise I'm here speak Spanish. Yeah, yeah. That's the tree. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a little sticky there, that's why I never want to bring you this direction. But but this tree here is a hardwood tree. All right? So right there is sticky, so I don't want to bring you that direction. I want to take you here, right? So right through here we're going. But that's a hardwood tree that they make carving and selling by the gift shop, people. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hardwood, like the, the black wood, red sericote, rosewood, those kinds of wood. But that one is the black wood. Take your time through here because remember, it's not a trail. You okay? This is the tree I use for itch and bites and sunburn. I'll get you a piece. Stay right there. Huh?
You good? This is good for mosquito. Okay, good. Bring it on. It could be how it does on sensitive skin. It could be part of my product line. Yes, this is very good for you. <laughs> All right. See this there? You could take that little wet part, put it yeah. there. Hang on. Right here. Right, right there you'll get hit. Oh. Boil in water and drink it. And when you pee, clean. Yes. Yeah, this is what I grew up with. We don't go to the doctor for an infection pills. Otherwise, we're in serious shit. Yeah. So this is what we drink for infection and clean us up. We have a kidney little problem, a little urine system problem, mm -hmm. and a little bladder problem. This shit worked for us. It's called gumbo limbo. Yeah. Yeah, this is my antibiotic. And local name is called touristry. Touristry. <laughs> touristry? Yeah. <laughs> You're red and peas like you guys in the sunlight. <laughs> ah! Ah! Hey, See? that's money in Look the bank. Look at it, look at it. See, look at it. Red, it look peels. Just, that tree do that as a protection of itself for parasites. You got me? Parasites. So whenever any parasites is trying to get up that tree, it shed its skin and you stay smooth and clean and you end up by his ass. <laughs> Down on the ground. Does that mean you don't want you on him? So he have that kind of rotation of living as a as a medicinal tree for us, yeah, you, you know. Yeah, he's he knows he got his he got his protection for us, just like how we have a protection for him too. Yeah, come on, let's go. Proteins for your body they taste like mint, bread mint, fresh termites. I use them for my bug repellent. If the bugs are bothering you too much, I get some termites. We put them in our hands, we kill them, and rub them over our skin, and no bugs bite us. That's my jungle equi um, repellent. Careful, ladies. And I will light it up fire, make a smoke, and chase away all the bugs, girls. Ah. All the bugs will go away if I take that little nut and make a fire. That stuff is hard like rock. Oh. If that stuff hit you when you break them out, it hit out, you knock out your, yeah, your yeah. balls, knock out you out. That yeah. stuff is tough. So when I was a kid breaking them out, we have a special iron that we break them and take a little coconut from out of them. And then, that, no, yeah, we could eat the coconut. Careful, you guys, that hole is here. Yeah, we could eat the coconut, but they make palm oil from it. Yeah, yeah. That way the palm oil come from, from that little coconut. So careful of that, that hole, you people. Tree seeds. Seeds, palm see tree, See them there? Seeds, see them on the, yes. on the tree? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's them on the tree. And that tree, I could cut it down and we could eat there. Come on, lift up your head. Now let's nail into there again. They like you, you have a good blood. They like you. <laughs> My parents still use okay. them still up to today day to make tamales yeah. and pibil. So this leaf here, feel it. Yeah. Feel the material. It's a crazy chicken, material. Put yeah, put your chicken and put it on the knee of the ground. Mm -hmm. And I do pibil with it. This is a really good leaf for you girls. And you could use it for a fan. <laughs> and then this leaf here, you even could roll something in this leaf. <laughs> but it have to be a dry one. So this is my, my uh, rolling paper when I don't have paper in the jungle. I use this for my rolling paper. But this is my toilet paper also. <laughs> and this is the only leaf you could use in the jungle for a toilet paper. Don't use any other plants in the jungle because you're screwed. Yeah. Right? So this is a special plant. For the jungle, if you have to use the jungle and need a toilet paper, you have to look for this leaf for your toilet paper. Gotcha. Trust me. And then this thing, we could put this over a fire and cure this leaf and it's not going to split mm. over a fire and cures it and it's not going to split. Then we could hot water, boiling water, shoot it right down in the hot boiling water, pull it about back and it's not going to split. So you could cure it both ways. Mm. You could cure it over fire or you could cure it in boiling water and then you could use it and wrap and do your thing and don't eat the leaf when you're eating. Because I have several friends, I give them food out of my leaves and they're eating the leaves and they tell me the lettuce is tough. <laughs> I look at them and I say, hell shit, you're eating my pot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I say, it's, not, it's not a lettuce, man, you're eating the pot. Yeah, it's amazing when these guys, I say, oh, come on. Yeah, these guys are chewing this shit. It's chewy. How the hell you could eat the pot, right? Yeah, so this is a leaf in the jungle, girls and gentlemen, that you could use. Come on, let's go again. We can't stand up too long, okay? I miss mine. So this is my Tarzan vine that I climb up and then I go do my uh, or my holo monkey thing. It's my holo monkey thing right here. But sometimes I got these guys just move my vine for me and my vine just swing on and I'm swinging on the vine. Uh -huh. So the vine go like that with me, right? Yeah, it makes it more believable. Yeah, make it more like that. I got it like that. Let me show you. And I swing it on. Then I jump my vine, and my vine carry me, and that's more, more, more believable, right? But that's how I do my Tarzan. I have a lot of kids love that. A lot of kids love it. They so go in from from here.
Whoa. So that's their trail. Let it come from where those guys they are. Come on right up in. And they all go right through these tunnels. And that's their home. They have over a billion ants. And check this out right here. So this is a hole that produce ant hole chew. Uh, watch it. My machete is gone. My hand is going in. And I'm going down. Ow! Stop it. No. <laughs> I'm all right. <laughs> but, but, but that's how deep it is. And you could take your stick and drop it down in and see how deep this thing is. And this is a hollow. And this is where the ants live, people. It's amazing. Amazing. And when the weather is going to be good weather, those ants are going to play. Right now, the weather is going to be a tough weather. So the ants are not playing. They're in their hole and protect their food that they have until they could come out and play and get more food. What kind of food? Leaves. leaves. They take all the leaves and, mm -hmm. and the fresh leaves and they use them as a fungus. They make a fungi out of them. Fungi. Yeah. Yes, girl. You're right. And these are bamboo. Yeah. <laughs> now that is some bamboo. I hear a monkey just now. No. <laughs> Yeah, these are bamboo, young lady, and this is a grass. Amazing, bamboo is a grass, and bamboo is the tallest grass that grows in any jungle or any rainforest. I use that as my test. Bamboo is one of my test trees. Got you too. Look there, red. See that? That's the milk coming from this, but it's a glue. So this is the almost glue tree. So this is the tree that I use for glue to glue paper. All right. So watch this. See, he got me already. See how quick it is? Mm -hmm. So if we need to glue up somebody out here and make glue for you, this is my glue tree. It's amazing, amazing. <laughs> See, you look like a brand new shoe again. See ya. Yes, sir. Oh. Mayan people, they use their fruit for tea for energy source. Mm -hmm. To keep them strong and keep them energizing, they drink the, the, Look the at fruit. Those flowers. And what is. seeds inside. It's called Peruvian tree, it's called energy tree, and it's called Pachira. Pachira is the name, scientific name of the tree, ladies and gentlemen. That's a vulture, girl. <laughs> The redhead turkey vulture, right there in a the tree, right behind, right in front of the yeah, oh, sea girls, yeah. right there. Redhead turkey vulture. They're hard to see, but the head sell them because you can't see me easy. I wear black, yeah. but sometimes if I have a different head or a shirt, then you see me. <laughs> so that's the same thing with these animals out here. They'll blend themselves in, otherwise it'll be dinner. Mm -hmm. Yup, it'll be dinner. Oh. Predator, not prey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the word I talk to them too. Yeah, he bark like a dog too. He's cool. He make my noise too in the night. If you hear this bird, you think it's a jaguar. Yes. I see a crocodile down there. That's a crocodile. See it? By the, by the stump? By that stump. See that stump? <laughs> see that dark thing? Yep. That's a croc. On the right? Yeah. Oh, I see him. That's a croc. You have his mouth open too. Oh, I see it, yeah. You see him? Mm. You see him? On the right. Just like I'm, him right yeah. I'm not I kidding does, your ass, like girlfriend. The wood. See it? Uh-huh. Eyes 
open like that. Hey girl, I got it. I mean, with their mouth. I'm gonna crush you. Well, no. I know what I'm doing. I know you know. I'm trying to brace my <laughs> camera. <laughs> that crocodile is wired. She have his. She have a wire underneath of his tail. If you look good. Yeah. She have his mouth open. He's a. He's a fake crocodile. <laughs> I'm just kidding, you girls. He's not a fake crocodile. I'll show you something right here. I don't have my bail on. I have my bail on. So. I'm like, I have no. <laughs> it's not a fake. It's real. <laughs> oh. It's real. See you later. My tail! <laughs> Sorry, he's never wired. It's amazing I left with a curse into my relatives that that girl killed a guy with voodoo that steal and stuff him out of their boat once in the village. But it wasn't the village then, it was a town then. Because Monkey River was a town and we used to be one of the oldest town and I used to be one of the first town in Belize and this river used to be my transportation for mahogany, chiclet, and bananas and lagoon. That's why I was a town that have over 2,000 people. You can still go on the map and find it, Monkey River Town, you're not going to see Monkey River Village. Uh, they yeah. still put Monkey River Town but we are a village because we only have 180 people now. Yeah. But when it was a town, then business was going on, and then the river was active as a road, guys. Yeah. 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 So that all changed now and into a paradise. Yeah. 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 palm tree right the tall one we don't know way up top the branches that's the tallest palm that grows in any jungle any rainforest really? royal palm yeah amazing palm that palm people grow it in their yard and garden and yeah, yeah they use it for posts and in the days of back when i was a kid my dad used to use it for skin you know what a skin is that's when my dad, they're gonna take out a dory as big as this boat out of wood in the jungle. They're gonna put it along and put it on top and we skid them out for a, maybe a, almost half a mile, a mile out of the jungle. <laughs> yeah, and take them to the river here and dump them in the water and you have a daggle canoe. I have a canoe right now from those guys. Everything was daggle canoe, nothing like fiberglass boat. Everything made from trees. I still could make my Dago canoe. I could do my little Dago canoe. Still, I could make my own little boat. I learned all of that shit. We could do it out of these leaves too. Those are palm leaves up back there. Oh, wow. Those are Cahoon palms. That's the palm that bear a nut that they make oil from, palm oil. Yeah, yeah. It's become a big business now in Belize because even the government getting involved now with a factory. Yeah, they're gonna have a palm oil factory in Belize. Then they're gonna buy all the little palm nuts from people, the Mayans. And they're gonna take them to the factory and make oils and ship them out to you guys in the US as one of the healthiest oil. It's not a synthetic oil, it's a very well, very we, oil good for your body. We've also heard that palm oil is not good. Really? Yeah. Why is that? I guess they try to trick the people again. <laughs> and scientists. Again is right. That's yeah, the right. Scientists. Yeah. My mom a kid, my grandma lived over 105 years old. And she deal with palm oil and she lived that long. Yeah, I love it was it. damn not good. And yeah, <laughs> she had a dicky, even me, I'm freaking. Yeah, you see, with the palm oil grows, you don't get fatty. Yeah. All of these other oils, you get fatty, fatty yeah. because it stores up into you and it'll take too long to do a cleanse. Yeah. And then that started to build up your liver, your lungs, and you started to get fatty and puff up. Because mm -hmm. the oil that you eat in your food source. Come back into day. your body, but those ones from my ancestors, they look like me. Oh. I'm 90 years old and nobody even know it. Yeah. Yeah. But you are. How old are you? I can't remember. You're way older than you look. Well, give a guess. If I'm not 90, I'm pretty close. Can't you remember? I'm no. pretty close to be 90. You're, are you no, maybe, you're not. You're what? Something. No. Are you maybe 650? Give a guess, man. No, I'll no. take whatever you give me. Okay. If you give me 40, I take that. Whatever you give me. Fifty-one. Fifty-one. I take that. Love you. Yeah, Smart girl. Right on the hit. I'm gonna say sixty-two. No man, you're going too far. Okay. You're doubling me now. Uh, I know Shit. You, you are way 
No, I really look like 62 to you because of my beard and I never get a shave. I never get a cut for Christmas yet. But wait till I get a cut for Christmas. I, I, I get a cut, cut uh, about while I met a white guy. You look at me, you say, oh my God, I never change. I said, no, I know. That, you I said, look that's way. why I grow my hair. So I, I change, man. Yeah. No, I'm 54, girl. 54, okay. I knew you were away. Right, you my mom is 50. Right. You could definitely. Right, I'm, I'm pretty good at that game. I'm Ooh. a 50 <laughs> Shoulders are from holding the 